I'm coming, y'all. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm coming, y'all. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's up? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yo, what up, y'all? As you can see, well, as you can see, I'm back in the uniform. So, what's up? What's up? I'm back. I'm back with another episode of Security Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? I know it's been a little while, but if you watched, if you watched my first, my first episode, then you know I pretty much covered covered everything that I can, y'all. Like I gave y'all everything that I possibly can. So in this video right here, I thought I would come on and kind of just but kind of go through some of the comments that I've been getting. I have been getting a lot of comments. We'll do a few flashback moments. And I'm starting this video early in the day, so it may get dark, you know, as the video progresses. But anyway, we're gonna get into some of these comments. Y'all, I really enjoy these comments because uh, I put a lot into my videos. I just, I don't just throw them out there. And oh, this is a pretty good comment I got. Uh, and this person asked, well, this person commented. They said, cool video, bro. Do you buy food every day or do you make lunch sometimes? And commented, I do both because, you know, it adds up eating out every day. Some days I might, you know, have some leftovers I could take. Some days, you know, I might just grab something on the way. It's a food line on my way to work. So, you know, some days I might even stop by the grocery store and grab me like a microwavable, you know what I'm saying? Like a microwavable dinner. Then I have another comment. I just wonder what a unarmed security officer carries on them. What type of training do unarmed guards get? Say, as far as the training, eight hours for three days, 24 hours training. I don't know if this person that commented, I don't know if they were referring to like, like physical training, like it's no physical training. And then too, I guess that depends on the site that you're coming at, coming, you know, working at. Yo, what's up y'all? So, like I said, my name is Nancy. I've been doing security, I've been doing security almost seven years. I'm about four months away from my seven year mark. I've been at the same location also in these past seven years, so, like I said, I pretty much know my site pretty good. That's another thing that really makes the job easy, you know what I'm saying? Knowing the people that you're working with. You know, like if I have a problem, I know who to call. I'm not calling the wrong person. You know what I mean? To You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. I don't know if you can hear the birds chirping in the background, but I said that's, that's about the most. All right, y'all. So this was just a little flashback moment. I hope you enjoyed so let's get back into the questions. I have one person, shout out Houston. We got Houston in the building. Great video fam, new supporters here. I do the same work for the same company. So like I say, y'all, it's, cool. it's pretty cool y'all getting these comments in. I enjoy them, I read them, I reply to all of them. Matter of fact, I didn't reply to this one here. Somebody said, you look like a damn snitch. Oh no! Uh, I didn't reply to it, but I did think it was funny. Cause I'm like, it's the internet, man. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't trip off of uh, this. The same person also commented, top flight security of the world, Craig. Um, then here's another comment. Can I ask you a question about your job? Okay, you're unarmed. What do you get, a flashlight, nothing else? Okay, what if there's a situation? Do you radio dispatch to call the authorities? Or do you call on your cell? I'm looking into being a security. And yeah, that, that, that was a pretty good question. All right, y'all, so in a situation like this, first, my first move would be to radio my fellow officers. If I couldn't get up with them, or if they, if they were also away from a telephone, then I would make the ethical decision on my part to use my cell phone. Now, do the company want you to use your personal cell phone? No, they don't. But like I said, that would be a ethical decision that you would have to make. Making ethical decisions. Duh. Another comment. I love this video. I am also a security officer. 
but I am so limited of what I can show because I work in a federal government building. However, I do post every so often about experiences, uh, but I would love for us to be YouTube buddies. And y'all, I can read, but um, it's kind of hard reading these comments when there's no punctuation. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to get a feel of the sentence. Like, hold on, where you going with this? Where you going with it? But we're going to make it through. We're going to make it through. All right, y'all. So we're going to take a little break. And we are going to get into another flashback moment. Sit still. And I'll see y'all back in a moment. But yeah, y'all. You know, um... So like working security back here, man, we don't really get a lot of action. Stuff out of the ordinary like this don't happen often, so this is kind of, I ain't gonna say it's exciting, but you know, it's it's something, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just sitting here looking at the rabbits and the birds. It's really, this is unexpected here. Um, if you've been following my security chronicles, then you know that we don't normally have things like this happen unless we're notified. So this is like a, you know, it's a shock. Cause I was like, hey, what's going on? You had nobody reported a fire, so I was wondering where them fire trucks was coming from. All right, everyone. So if you have made it this far in the video, I really thank you for watching. So right now we're gonna get back into these questions. Uh, another person says you should do more videos like this and I am. Well, I want to, but like I said, y'all, is I think I pretty much gave y'all everything. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because now, hold on, hold on. But yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that because now, you know what I'm saying? I really don't have nothing to, to post because I gave y'all everything. Then I got a comment, I am a security guard for I've been a security guard for three years now, and now I'm now I am a supervisor, and I love it. So congrats to you, congrats to you, shout out to you, man. Another comment: They are working in the warehouse for two years so far, and they love it. So shout out to you. Uh, then somebody says, "Do you get drug tested? If so, what kind?" Uh, and it's usually a urine test. Um, this comment right here is actually recent. I just got this a week ago. If you're posted in the guard shack, you're a guard. If you actively patrol and have more duties other than to sit at a post, then you're an officer. That's eight plus years of being a security officer versus being a guard. So I thought that was a good comment. I think now we'll get into some, let's get into some flashback clips. Let's make it fun flashback clips so y'all stick around all right y'all let's head outside let's check out the outside area and let's see what we have going on out here all right y'all so as you can see it's a pretty small area you know it's nothing nothing fancy like i said outside microwave we have a little radio station matter of fact let's plug the radio let's plug the radio up y'all let's see what they playing on the radio what y'all know about this? But let's get back to this tour. I should have did this earlier today, but it was a little warm. I tried to wait for the sun to start setting. But y'all just bear with me. Um, you know, like I say, a pretty chill job. You can walk, and if you can write, and you can pretty much do a security job because... You know, that's the pretty much basics of the jobs, um, observing and reporting what's going on. That's what you do. All right, everybody. So I think pretty much right here, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. Um, if you want more videos like this, then make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And anyway, go ahead and leave some comments down below and let me know what you think. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. <laughs>